Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a fun comparison between Windows 10 on the left and what's this? Windows 10 on the right, but a uh, Windows 10 clone. So based off uh, a Linux distribution, Ubuntu in fact, uh, with a, uh, a, a desktop environment that is closely resembling uh, the Windows 10 as best it can based on the tool set that it does have available to it. So it's pretty cool. If I was to uh, load up a few different things here, even the icons, obviously the icons is something that they want to get right there. So quite quite similar in a way, not exactly identical by any stretch of the imagination, but, but pretty close. Uh, unless you were really having a look at it, you may not even notice. So if I was to load up a few little bits and pieces here in the terminal, in fact, on the left-hand side, I might actually go to the task manager. Now, there's not really a task manager in the same way for the clone. It doesn't actually include that there. But it is good to jump open to a uh, terminal and uh, have a look at some of the similarities and differences here. Whoops, I'll pop in the right command there. And uh, let's see, so it does tend to use a little bit of um, RAM straight off the bat, so just like Windows, no surprise there, but definitely a little bit less there. So on the uh, Linux distribution side, and I'll give you the name of this one, it's actually called Linux FX 10.6, something I haven't heard of before, but uh, I do like what they're trying to do here. Most people will actually say that it's not quite the, uh, you, know, the you know, they might ask what's the point, because if you want a Linux distribution, you'll just choose one, not like a clone, like Windows, and if you want Windows, you'll use Windows. Now, yes, with Windows 10, the real one here, it does support many more applications, software, apps, be it uh, Microsoft Word, gaming, a whole plethora of, uh, of software online that you can uh, download from the website. Uh, on the other hand here, not a great deal uh, in comparison. I mean, we'll run all the, the Linux apps that you would normally use, but uh, it is just a little bit different in nature. But having said that, in many ways, it actually is still the same. So if I was to jump into right-click settings for both of them, you will see, and let's expand this up a bit if we can. Uh, no, it's uh, stretched out, so I can't do that right now. But uh, yeah, very similar in nature. Again, icons, much the same there. If I was to go to update and security for the one and update and security for the other, it does really tend to attempt to, to mimic it as best it can. It's even got the little uh, shield to, to pretend that it is Windows there. Now, um, if you're just, say, a, a, a browser, if you just, you know, browse the internet, you've got Google Chrome there. Uh, you do have uh, sort of uh, these, these Word documents uh, options here, which is pretty cool. Very, very similar in nature. It's using only Office as opposed to the, the real version, which would be Microsoft Office. But it does look pretty cool. You've got your documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and fairly compatible with, uh, with uh, documents on the Microsoft Word side of things there as well, or the whole Microsoft suite, in fact, there. So very nice to see. But uh, maybe for a grandpa, grandma, that kind of thing, even the settings still really look the same. I really like to see that. I am jumping around a little bit on this video, but uh, it's just a, an interesting thing to see, and uh, I do like to see it. Um, as similar as it can be all the way down to the wallpaper, which is probably what you'd expect in the very least, a nice blue wallpaper on the right there. But um, yeah, grandma, grandpa, someone that just does a little bit of uh, you know web browsing, Word documents, nothing much else. Katana also exists, although the ripoff version for the clone is called uh, Helloa. And I'm not sure if you were able to hear it talk just then, but it's got the nice little animations there as well. Even the lock screen is uh, similar in nature there. If I was to figure out a way how to do that there. Uh, no, no, it's not showing up. I won't worry about that for now, but I'll just keep it pretty simple for the purposes of this fun little video. So very different, but in many ways very the same, especially for basic usage on, on both of these. So yeah, um, I guess if you if it was for the, the the mom, the pop, the grandma, the grandpa, probably actually a good idea because uh, this is uh, it will have security updates. It's a long-term service release. Uh, well, the, the the back or the base of which is Ubuntu which does have those security updates that will last for quite some time. So uh, probably even a more secure version for, for an older uh, computer individual here. I'm not sure what this please wait thing is. Maybe I've got a few th too many things open. In fact, it's part of the, the update uh, thing there. But uh, yeah, that's very, very cool the way that it's working. I can even pause updates just like Windows. That's very, very cool. Can't wait to see uh, this uh, 
this version of Linux slash Windows 10, this clone, as it does start to evolve over the years and be as, uh, as, as much like Windows 10, the real version, as possible. But we'll see how things go. I'll keep an eye on things, probably do another video in a number of years' time on this. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a, leave a like, a comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.